here we go. It is January 12th, 2022, and I'm going to do a quick video for you guys about uh, what I think is going to happen over this week through next week and then beyond. All right, so if we go into the mark or the um, market rebellion and look at the charts for BTC, you can see that it's been coming down and it whipped down to 39.6 and then it's popped back up uh, to sit right at 43, ooh, 689 and uh, 43.7 per crown crypto, which I highly respect, is where we need to close tonight by 7 p.m. So if it doesn't sit above 43.7 and actually goes lower, uh, then it's going to do what I think is going to do. And I'll tell you why. All right. If we go into AJ Monty and Market Rebellion and in his video, he went over an ABCD bump uh, or he went over to ABC pattern for the Dow. Now that runs inverse to the VIX, which he says there's a gap up here. And this was on Friday and it's already starting to fill. Um, if you if you pull up uh, VIX on trading view, you can see that it's gone down and uh, it's looking to turn and pop back up now. Now he says oh, this can go up until about January 22nd and then he thinks it's gonna come back down. I'll tell you why I think that's a big deal. Uh, but again, remember the VIX runs opposite to um, IWM and uh, Dow. So if we head over to the Dow, this is what he thinks is going to happen. It's 804, perfect. All right, so this is the ABCD pattern. This is uh, A up top. The pattern comes down to B. We are at C right now. Now, he drew these lines. This was on Friday, but he drew these lines and it's playing out. But we're at the C right now. And he thinks over the next five days, it's going to be coming down here. Now, if we head over to trading view, look at the live for the Dow, you can see that this was the Friday. We've come down. This So this was A, B. We're at C right now. And you can see the candles already turning red for the day. And over the next few days could be going down. Now, why is this a big deal? Because I'm always following Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin, I believe, is going to follow the Dow. So we're seeing the run up right now um, and we're most likely going to see it be coming down. So I'm not doing any trading. I'm going to wait for this to play out. Now, what I have up here is the full moon and the new moon. And you can see the darker is the full moon. And with the full moon, you notice that uh, that usually shows a reversal uh, in the pattern that's happening. So right now uh, that where that's with 80 percent accuracy over the last year. And you can see here with the new moon, it went up. Here's the, I'm sorry, the full moon, it went up. And here with the new moon, it's going down. Well, the full moon is happening on the 17th, five days from now. And if you're following that ABCD pattern, so you got A, B, bump up C, and then down to D, this is where the full moon's going to be there and then turn around and then go back up. And that would be funny enough in line with the full moon. Then after that, um, we uh, I was watching uh, Paul Barron. So if you go and watch his last video, he talks about um, the accuracy of a CPI index and he did it for Bitcoin. Now I'm going to pull it up um, and just show you and give you an idea of what it is. Now this is their forecasting. Okay. And this is a CPI index, crypto power index. And it's, uh, you can see it going up into the right hand. Now this is for Axie Infinity, but this is what it's calling out for Bitcoin. But first it's got this little dip down here and that, funny enough, plays out in the next five days. So it's calling for uh, a dip down in Bitcoin. Now, does it have to do that? No, you can see this is just a range for it. But for the most part, they're calling these ranges very well. And uh, after that dip, it's going up and to the right, just like AJ Monty was thinking for the ABCD pattern. And um, the one thing it didn't show was uh, this is A, B, we're at C. D is down here. But then after that, again, coinciding with the full moon, the target is up and to the right. And that's when I think uh, after the 17th, maybe 17th to 22nd, when the, you know, the VIX is coming back down, it's already hit its target, or maybe it hits its target before that. That's when everything starts going back up. So I think next week might be up or sideways, but I wanted to bring this uh, to you guys' attention. Notice that 43.7 at 7 p.m. tonight, because that's when the daily close is Eastern time for uh, Bitcoin. If it's above 43.7 per crown crypto, then we're looking good and you might even be going up and to the right and different from uh, what uh, the rest of the market is most likely going to do. Now, uh, I think one of the reasons, my theory is one of the reasons that all of these things have been playing out for AJ Monty is that there are a lot of bots doing the trading. And I, I would think that these bots are looking at the same numbers. If it, if the trend goes this way, then this, and it's, they're following the same patterns that AJ Monty is right now. And it just so happens that he's calling it perfectly because most of these bots are doing the trading. People are trying to make money in between the trends and the trend lines. 
And I think he's just calling it out perfectly. So uh, I'm really curious to see how this plays out. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you like it, hit the like button. And if you have any comments, comment below. See you later.